Hi, this is JP here with Brizzy and in this beginner's video for WordPress, we're going to look at how you can create a menu. Regardless if you are using Brizzy Pro where you can actually custom make a menu or you are using the WordPress menu element that we have in Brizzy Free or you are using your own theme to create the menu, you do need to go and create that menu first within WordPress and that can be a little bit tricky for newcomers. Let's look at how you make a basic menu in this video with page links. There are actually quite a number of things you can do with a menu, but we'll stick to the basics in this video. I have a site already that I have created with a few pages. So let's go in there, look at what is what, and then create that menu. Inside WordPress in my administration panel, let's go have a look then at the pages. And under pages, you will see that I have in total six pages. What I want is five of these pages to be in the menu and this one over here to be in a drop down menu. If that doesn't make sense at this moment. I'll show you very soon what we mean by that. Just for interest, I'm using the Suki theme in this demonstration, but you can be making the menu by yourself within the Brizzy page builder, or you can be using your theme. The focus here is how do you create a menu? Let's go back to the pages just to have an idea and let's go to the home page and I will click here on view to see what is currently happening here. You can see here that I have my page, but at the top, I don't have the option to go and find those other pages that you have seen. The reason is you need to go create it. And in this instance where we are working with a theme, you actually have to assign it so that the theme will know where to place the menu. It sounds a lot, but let's just go and do this step by step. So we have our pages and we want them to appear here at the top so that when people click on it, it can take them to those various pages. Let's go back into the WordPress admin panel. To create the menu, you go here in the sidebar to appearance, and then you will see here the option to select menus. That is where you go every time when you want to create or edit your menus, click on it. From here, you should see it look like this, which is basically empty. You need to create a menu. And the reason you have to create one and give it a name is because you can create more than one menu. Sometimes your site may have various menus for different functions. Let's stick to the basics. Click inside menu name. And I usually just call it my main menu because this is the big menu that I will be using on my home page. Click here on create menu. Once you've done that, you will have more options appear here at the bottom. Your menu has only been created, but nothing has happened on the front end. To show you that, I'm going to go up here where I can go and view my front end. But instead of clicking on it, I'm going to hold control or command on my keyboard and click. By doing that, it will automatically open a new tab with that page. So hold control command on your keyboard and click. You see here is the new tab and here is the page. Nothing has happened. Back here, let's bring in those pages that we want to appear in the menu. You will see here under pages, we have five, but I had shown you six and that's why it says most recent. For us, then we have to click here on view all and now we can see all six pages. We want the home page, so we click on that, about page, the contact page, menu page and recipes. Now you click here on add to menu. You will see from here, they move over here. This is now the menu structure. Let's save this menu and let's go over here and see after we refresh this page, what will happen again, nothing. And look very carefully. It says assign menu to this location. Now this is the header in the theme. WordPress still doesn't know this menu that you have created, where do you want it to display? And that's why you go here to menu settings and then you will see display location and it will give you header menu one. This is your header. So you select that one. Let's say save menu, go to the front end, refresh, and you will see here is our menu. Slight problem though. I want my contact to be at the end. I want my menu to be here recipes and about there. So at this moment, they're all messed up. Let's get them in the right order. Go back and you simply click and drag where you want them to appear. So home, and then we go to menu, recipes, and then about and contact, save it. 
view it on the front end, and they are in the right order. What about this one? Let's click here again on View All, Apple Pie. What do I want to do with this? Now, you don't always have to display all the pages. But in this instance, I want Apple Pie to appear under recipes so that when people come to the front end, under recipes, they click on it and it will show Apple Pie. Let's go back to the back end. And now I click on Apple Pie and click Add to Menu. I drag it up under recipes and now drag it a little bit to the right and drop it. This is now a level two drop down. Let's save the menu. Go to the front end, refresh, and you will see there's a little drop down. I can go to Apple Pie. Let's navigate around to see if this actually works. I click here on About, and there is our About page. Menu. And if you want to go and look at how to make an Apple Pie, just go for the drop down and you select Apple Pie. Again, regardless of which theme you are using or whether you are building your menu within the Brizzy Free or Brizzy Pro Builder, you will always need to go into WordPress and create your menu under Appearance, Menus, and then make sure that you create it and then bring in the pages. There is still a lot actually to cover within menus because you can bring in posts and create custom links. We cover that in another video. Hope this was useful for you on your journey into creating websites with WordPress. More beginner tutorials to help you on your way here on our YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe. Also visit us at brizzy.io.